All right, everyone, welcome. Welcome. Today is November the 2nd, 2022. This is our All Lives Matter call with um, Dr. Alex Lloyd. Um, we're not sure if David's going to be here today, but I'm here, Johanna Chan. And um, we're just all always happy to have this call with you every week. Um, before we get started, though, I want to share this disclaimer. This presentation is for education and informational purposes only. And since we're going to be talking about issues of health and well being, we wanted to make sure that you understand this information is not intended to heal or cure anything. Everything in the presentation are the opinions of Dr. Alex Lloyd, Dr. David Peck, myself, Johanna Chan, or you if you choose to share. You should always check with a licensed healthcare provider about any specific health concerns you may have. All right. So, Alex. What will we talk about today? <laughs> uh, welcome, everyone. I'm Alex Lloyd. Uh, Dr. David Peck is normally here. Uh, he may not be here today. He gave me a heads up. Uh, he's had some things come up today and may or may not make it. Uh, David is a double board certified surgeon at Columbia Presbyterian Hospital in New York. He's been a professor for over 25 years at Columbia Presbyterian in New York, uh, over 50 published clinical papers in the area of health, uh, I believe four United States patents in the area of health. And he and I are doing this to help a million to a billion people increase their emotional well being by 100% or more in one year or less. And uh, our commitment is that we will uh, provide what you need to do that for free. We just ask that you share it, um, to share the, the healing processes, share that we're doing this. All of the calls are recorded and posted. Uh, if one of the past ones really resonated with you, share that call with someone else. Hey, just take a look at this for a few minutes, see what you think. And, um, and we don't ask you to follow us. We want you to join hands with us. And um, there's never been in the history of the world, I believe, a more important time for this. Uh, since the start of COVID, emotional well-being has gone from a top 50 in the world issue to a top five in the world issue. Uh, you are seeing people who have never talked about emotional well-being now coming out with programs for emotional well-being, like the National Football League, Major League Baseball, uh, the NBA. Uh, I mean, the so the biggest soccer organizations in the world, lots of uh, social organizations as well. Uh, uh, Amazon and Walmart, and I mean, it's just unbelievable. Um, the latest research says that before COVID, anxiety and depression were represented about um, seven and nine percent of the population, uh, respectively. Today, approximately 64 and 61% of the population are struggling with anxiety and depression to the point that it is significantly detracting from their everyday life. So from seven and 9% to 61 and 64%, we have never seen anything close to this um, in the history of the world. The um, World Health Organization, uh put out a statement that they believe that mental health and uh what i call emotional well-being is at epidemic proportions right now not in the future right now so uh we believe um this is very needed in the world sometimes when you charge people for things it keeps them from doing it they don't have the money or they don't want to pay it for whatever reason uh, so David and I said, well, how about if we do it all for free? And I think that was the magic moment for this. Uh, and that's what we're doing. We started about six months ago and, um, we are thrilled. Uh, if you would like 
to join us. And to join us, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to sign anything. You don't have to pay anything. Um, just, just share and, uh, and, uh, and, and, and increase your own emotional well-being by over 100% in the next year. Uh, I believe if you do that, the people around you will start asking, what are you doing? Uh, that's what typically happens. And then there's an easy opportunity to share. Um, with David not here, the issue we were going to talk about today was uh, sibling issues, uh, sibling rivalry, uh, sibling, um, you know, being super close to your siblings. But then when you each go off and do your own life and maybe even live in other places, you're not as close as you were and you remember how close you were before and uh, sometimes that hurts a little bit. Um, uh, but I, I kind of want to hold that until David is here because that's something that he wanted to talk about. So Johanna, let's see if any of our, any of the people here now have an issue they would like for us to address today. So if you are here and have an issue you would like for us to address, raise your hand and either, or, or, or just type it into the chat box. And um, I'll take a look at those. Johanna will take a look at those and um, we'll see if there's one that looks good. All and right, if, sure. If no one does, uh, Johanna and I'll choose something in a minute. <laughs> All right, so this is, uh, if you're on the phone, you can press star nine, and that's going to raise your hand, or if you are not on the phone, but you're on the web, you can um, click the raise your hand button there. So don't be shy. We have um, time for you, absolutely. So go ahead and raise your hand. We don't have any, any hands up. Okay. <laughs> so, um, everybody. Uh, there's something in the... Uh... Sometimes when I do the codes, here's what uh, someone wrote in. Sometimes when I do the healing codes, so many other issues come up. I feel like I'm playing whack-a-mole. <laughs> Did I just do the universal code? No, 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 no. When those issues come up, that's a great question. When those issues come up, say, please, thank you. Thank you. Please heal that too. Another one comes up. Thank you. Please heal that too. Thank you. Please heal that too. And generally, the reason they're coming up is they're related to what you're working on, but often in an unconscious way that you don't realize they're they're related. So yeah, that's what you do. Right. Okay. So let's see. We have a um, and somebody. I I think I think they meant fear. Johanna, what do you think? They wrote F A F R A R. Oh. <laughs> Marilyn, what did you mean? Is that prayer or fear? Can you can you type what you mean there, Marilyn? Oh, I'm going to allow her to talk. Let's just open. Okay. Her. Okay, open your. Go ahead and. Uh, yeah. There you yeah. go. Yeah. So I'm not really awake this morning. Uh, a fear of joy. A it, fear it, of what? Joy. Joy. J O Y. A fear of joy. Go a little further yeah. with that, Marilyn. What it, do you mean it, by it, that? It, it came up last week after the victimization um, trilogy. And what okay. came up for me was I have some very strong victimization memories. Uh huh. And I, I woke up the next morning with a, an energy. And, and when I sensed into it, it was to me, victimization is a joy issue because I became what I needed to heal on was I would rather not experience joy because with that joy came so much pain from someone victimizing me I felt it was better not to experience joy than to go to the pain that came after it ah so so you're saying that the joy came with victimization. It came with something painful. So you didn't yeah. want the joy because you knew, okay, yeah, the joy is great. But if I get the joy, I'm going to get this painful thing with it. Is that, am I yeah. hearing you right? Yes. And it's too, it was too painful to go through again. I just, I just didn't want, yeah. I'd rather not have, 
not have the joy and have the pain that came afterwards. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Let's work on that. All right. So, uh, Marilyn, if you want to stay there, it's fine. But let me give my two cents on this. Um, and, and you already said something. You may want to say something else. And if anyone else here wants to chime in on this, that's fine, too. Since David's not here, we'll uh, take liberties and not tell him. OK, um, but it, but to me, that's a that's a oh, man, that's Marilyn. That is a great uh, insight because I think not just joy, but different ones of us have all kinds of things like that, that, okay, yeah, I would, I would really like this, but every time it happens, there seems to be something negative along with it. And, and, and so it's keep, and so it's keeping me from wanting this thing that maybe is healthy and good for me and that I really should be enjoying or, or taking part in in my life, but I'm not because of the negative that goes with it. And I'll give you one for me, okay? I grew up going to church, I mean, three times a week, never missed. Uh, you couldn't miss. If you miss, it's like this mortal sin, okay? So if, if you miss, uh, unless you're like super sick or something, it's this big deal, okay? And But there were things I also loved about church. The singing, I love the singing. Uh, I love some of the um, points that the preacher would make about how to live a life of love instead of a life of fear and pain, although pain comes with either one. Um, but, and, and the main thing was all this legalistic stuff that came with it. Like, okay, you can't do this or you're going to hell. You can't do that or you're going to hell. You can't do that or you're going to hell. You have to do this or you're going to hell. You have to do that or you're going to hell. And, and, um, and so I, even though I loved parts of church and, and, uh, and I still, I still love church today, but not that kind of church because that kind of church there was this huge, negative, painful thing that came with it every time. That was basically me leaving, feeling like I'm, I'm guilty and going to hell, or that I'm good now because I just did my check my box by going to church. But I know that sometime really soon during the week, either later on Sunday or Monday or Tuesday, I'm going to slip again and sin and then I'm going to hell again. So it's this, it, it, even though there's things I love about it, it locks me into this vicious cycle, okay, of pain and repentance and then pain and then sin and then pain. And then, and today I, I don't believe any of that was ever even truthful, okay? But, but it really did affect me as far as doing something that I enjoyed doing and really wanted to do but I wouldn't because of the painful negative thing that came with it. Uh, uh, is there anyone else, Marilyn or anyone else that wants to make a comment about that before we do a healing process for it? And Johanna, Johanna, chime in, please. Oh, well, um, let, me do, let me just go ahead and see if April has anything. Okay, she, okay. April, you're, if you want to unmute. Hey, I didn't know if you guys knew that you can't when you said uh, get on the chat. The chat is disabled. I don't know if y'all knew that. And then oh, it's it's disabled for you because we have several people who have done the chat. So it's something with yours, but it is working for other people, April. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I'm able to get on the QA though. So I guess you guys can read it on there. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So so what do you think, April? Yeah, no, that totally sounds familiar to me too. <laughs> okay. I, I think I I think I experienced a few of those churches. And um, you know, they're not all like that. So <laughs> right. No, they're not. And, and the ones that I'm associated with now are not like that. But I still have those memories in me that when I think about it, you know, sometimes I'll still feel a little guilt there or something yeah yeah it's hard to go back to that so there's they're still around the, the churches that kind of you know i don't know okay all right um 
Uh, anyone else want to make a comment before uh, before we do uh, a process? Okay. Okay. All right. Well, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. So um, say your prayer, rate it from zero to 10. Uh, by the way, if you're here and you don't know how to do a healing code or a trilogy, we will give you the information of how to do that. Um, Johanna, I'm not sure exactly how they would get that. Uh, wh what's that support at thehealingcodes.com? Is that it, Johanna? Yeah, that's one. Yes, yeah, support. Yeah, just go to support at thehealingcodes.com and we will give you for free how to do a healing code and trilogy, which is what we're about to do now. Um, so those of you who are here and know how to do it, kind of rate it zero to 10 say a prayer from your heart, a request of your heart for that to heal and everything related to it. And this is for something in your life that you would really like to do or be a part of, but you either don't do it or you're hesitant to do it because there's something negative that comes with it. And this is to heal that negative that comes with it so that you can just enjoy that thing in your life, whatever that is for you, okay? So write that, uh, say a prayer from your heart. And now let's do a process to heal the source of that, okay? Let's start with a custom healing code and let's start that with both hands, temples, both hands, temples. Slow, deep breaths from the stomach. Don't try to make anything happen. Just back away and allow your body, mind, and spirit to heal this. They know exactly how to heal it. Left hand jaw, right hand Adam's apple. Both hands bridge, both hands bridge. And by the way, uh, you can keep doing this process uh, once a day or more this week to continue healing this until you feel like it's complete. Left hand Adam's apple, right hand jaw. Left hand Adam's apple, right hand jaw. Now both hands temples again. Left hand Adam's apple, right hand bridge. This is the last position. Okay, now let's uh, transition to trilogy and, a cu and custom acupuncture points. Let's start with temples, little finger, under the nose, side of the hand, 
collarbones, middle finger, under the arms, index finger, sore spot, under the eyes, thumb, middle of the chest, under the nipples, chin, 9G, eyes open, closed, open, eyes down to the left, down to the right, Circle your eyes, circle back the other way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, now let's activate governing and conception vessel three times, please. Three times. If it hurts, you're pushing too hard. Three times. And if you don't know how to do this stuff yet, just follow me. This is also called yin and yang. Goes back hundreds to thousands of years. Okay, now custom healing centers. Let's start with forehead. Please open and harmonize. If it hurts, you're massaging too hard. Throat, please open and harmonize. Base or root, please open and harmonize. Crown, please open and harmonize. Under the belly button, please open and harmonize. Heart, please open and harmonize. Middle of the stomach, please open and harmonize. All right, next, last section. Uh, left hand, forehead, right hand, brain stem. And we're gonna just relax here for about a minute. You can go longer if you like. And this is uh, activating unconscious mind, subconscious mind, conscious mind, all at the same time for healing. Very powerful. Okay, both hands over the heart. Slow deep breaths one after the other. Let the code process. When you're ready, I would take a look at the zero to 10, note any change, but also look at it 30 minutes from now. It, it should be better 30 minutes from now than it is now. And as you work on this this week, I would pick out a particular thing in your life that maybe you hesitate doing or don't want to do or you do or you don't do or whatever because it has some negative thing attached to it. I know I've done a lot of marriage counseling and that could be talking to a spouse because you feel like they have hair trigger anger and you're walking on eggshells all the time. So you want to talk to them because they're important to you. You love them. They love you maybe. But you're hesitant because, you know, lots of times it turns into a negative. Just find something like that from your life. Work on it till there's no charge on it anymore. Then find another one, another one, et cetera. So that, Johanna, that's it for me. If anyone wants to uh, make a comment or has a question, uh, okay, so pop in a question. Annie says, my other question is, 
I have lots of skin issues that I know are all related to stress. Some skin issues have been inherited. I'm doing the codes, but when my skin flares up, it causes extreme fear and anxiety, and I have no idea what to do. What should I do? You should work on the fear and anxiety. And um, this is going to sound crazy, okay? I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. Um, and, and Google this to prove it to yourself, okay? I did. Um, there, are, there have been new studies done that have found that black coffee is one of the healthiest things we know of. It is full of antioxidants. And get this, it is the best antiseptic type uh, substance we know of now on planet Earth. And they are using black coffee literally in battlefield situations and third world situations because it works better than hydrogen peroxide or some of the other sep uh, antiseptics that they have used even in surgery situations. So I would work on the underlying anxiety and fear, which you're right, that's, that's probably in some way the source of where it's coming from. But I would also brew you up some black coffee, get in the shower and um, really rub that in good to the places where you have those skin issues. Uh, and then, you know, give it a little bit of time to dry off, don't wash it off, and then get dressed again and go about your day. And then maybe the next day, do the same thing again on those areas where the skin issues are. And uh, I believe you'll see some improvement uh, in that, uh, possibly even to complete healing. It's uh, it's really amazing, even on open wounds and things. I mean, it's it's really an incredible breakthrough that was right in front of our noses all the time. So um, yeah, that's what I would do. But then use the codes for the anxiety and stress that are underlying to heal the source, because chances are that's not the only thing that the anxiety and stress are affecting. They're probably affecting other things too. Anyone else? Okay, we have a hand up by Kevin. Kevin, if you want to unmute your line. Hey, Kevin, go right ahead. Hello. Hey, guys, how you doing? Good. Good, good. Um, just want to say thank you guys for everything. And, um, you know, try to keep it brief because throughout the weeks and everything like that, you know, every time I'm tuning in, you know, I, I try and, like, pinpoint something that's, like, yeah, like, that's that's a bother to me. Yeah. And, you know what I mean? Um, um and, and heal that if you will um last week's call was really great and i don't think the video came out on youtube yet but um just that whole victim um mentality and everything like that and you know just kind of honing in on that um you know growing up i grew up in uh you know uh, a rough neighborhood with with gang violence and everything like that you know so like just the overall energy is you know that in and of itself and stuff and you know, like the, the, the woe is, woe is me type energy and everything like that. So like whenever something like good is, is happening in my life, which is, you know, definitely more, more recent, like I'm able to do a little turnaround a little bit quicker. And what I mean by that is like, say if there's like an argument or anything like that with, with, um, you know, my girlfriend or anything, um, the, the turnaround is, is much more and I'm not lingering, um, as much, but my, my, my issue is that, um in and of itself and you know or even um like two years ago you know I, I i uh tore my patella tendon playing basketball and you know had to do surgery and everything like that so you know that was on top of covid and, and everything like that so that, i would say like that's my main issue and like you know that really touched home to me when you were talking about like just that that hesitation like i don't know exactly what is you know what I'm saying? Holding back yeah. and stuff, or even like posting things on social media and, and things like that to try and put this word out there and stuff. I just feel like this, this restriction, if you will. And, and, you know, just, just kind of need some, um, you know, some, some guidance or, um, I don't know if it's another like code or custom code or anything like that, but, um, but yeah, I mean, like I've even, you know, going back to like the, the neighborhood and everything too. And that's just like the overall narrative and like, 
you know, I've, I've been unfortunately like shot at and everything like that too. So, oh, you know, I, 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 you know, just driving in the car with my friend and everything like that too. And, you know, just like hindsight on just like how numb it, it makes me and everything too. So kind of just, I don't know, wanting to like unlock that and just think that like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's something wrong or, you know, dealing with a bunch of friends that got, that's gotten shot and, and killed and everything like that too, or, or, or even being numb to the fact that, um, unfortunately, like my girlfriend lost her father this past year in April and next month, um, you know, she lost her grandfather and everything too. And, um, in hindsight, just trying to be there for her, I wasn't the best example of it because I just feel so like, you know, those emotions and everything like that's just shut down. And I don't know if it has to do with growing up in that environment and everything like that, but kind of just wanted to, uh, you know, heal that, not, not necessarily yeah. eliminate, but, but heal that, that inferior, you know, um, feelings and, and, and guilt and shame and victimization pretty much. Okay. Hey, Kevin, one thing, mm -hmm. do not ever chastise yourself for feeling that the victimization or the hesitation or whatever. Don't ever mm -hmm. chastise yourself for feeling that you come by that. Honestly. Okay. Love yourself love yourself for feeling that oh i'm so sorry that man that that you had to go through that i mean it's yourself but uh, you know nurture yourself love yourself do not chastise yourself for feeling those things you come by them honestly but then then mm -hmm. after that um and teach yourself teach yourself mm -hmm. okay but we don't have to feel that anymore. We can heal from that and feel joy and peace and love and, and things like that. So, so no guilt, no shame, no bad feelings toward yourself for any of that love and nurture yourself. But then, okay, but let's learn from this. We don't have to keep feeling that for the rest of our lives. So then to use the codes, um, to to heal that to heal the the you know when you think about the old neighborhood and being shot at and things like that uh do a code on that and if it starts out at an eight out of ten as far as fear and anxiety and stuff then a six then a five then maybe back up to a seven then maybe down to a five just keep at it kevin consistently until that memory has no negative charge on it. And then when it has no negative charge, say, okay, now, now that the fear is gone and the stress is gone, what can I learn from this that will be positive and will help me in my life? So, okay, so being shot at, is there anything I can learn from that? Well, gratitude, thankfulness, um, maybe, maybe a commitment, that hopefully later on, maybe 20 years from now, you can go back to that neighborhood and help some of those kids get out of that like you did. You know, that would be something you could learn from that that would be a positive, not only to you, but to others who, you know, uh, walked your same footsteps, basically. So uh, that's what I would say is, is do not chastise yourself, love and nurture yourself then work on that until the charge is off, then say, what can I learn from that? And then in the future, whenever that comes up, go to what you learned from it, not the, not the fear and pain. Okay. Does that make any sense? Yes, no, that, that definitely does make sense. And I, and I always get, you know, that, that sense and, and feeling like I said, um, you know, sabotaging sometimes when things yeah. are going good and, you know, making up for that and things like that. So, you know, co coming from that that angle or even the guilt and, you know, even just putting that timeline on, you know, just just helps too and stuff and not like, you know, wanting to to give back or, or, or help those kids. But I, I can't really do that from the place I'm, I'm at now, oh, you know what yeah, I mean? Okay. And, 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 he and healing myself and not feeling guilty for not you know what I'm saying? Being yeah. there for those people while I'm like continuing hey. to, to heal and, and work on myself too. Yeah. All that means, Kevin, is now is not the time. That all that's all that means. Okay. And you can use the custom we did today for this. This is real okay. closely related to what we were talking about today. And mm -hmm. Johanna, 
I'm going to have to go. Love you, Kevin, April, everyone else. Too, Marilyn, you. I love appreciate you. It. Thank you for being here. Uh, Dave should be back next week. And hey, one thing y'all need to pass the word on, and, and I'm kind of glad Dave's not here, okay, for this. But one thing y'all need to pass the word on, David Peck is basically Dr. Oz as far as his yeah. credentials. I mean, he's a double board certified surgeon at the same hospital as Dr. Oz. Dr. Oz is a double board certified surgeon, if I'm correct. Uh, Dr. Oz has been a professor at Columbia Press. David, for more than 25 years, a professor. At, if, if anything, David's credentials, I think, are beyond Dr. Oz's. So every week, we've got a great opportunity here to ask someone who's about as high up on that medical hierarchy as you can get about any health issue. Hey, Dave, what's your take on diabetes? Hey, Dave, what's your take on, uh, I don't know, anorexia? What's your take on this type of cancer? I mean, you can ask him those questions. He, that's one of the things he's here for. So, um, and there's very few places that you can regularly on a weekly basis without paying a fee uh, access one of those guys that's way up at the top of that um, and, and get their input and advice. So spread that word. Uh, we're here every week and he will answer those questions. So uh, thank you, everyone. Love you. And uh, hope to see you next week along with uh, Dr. David hopefully being back. Thank you. God bless you, Alex. God bless you.